Hello, my name's Benedict Brain. I'm a photographer and I'm super excited to be sailing with you next year as an artist in residence. I'm going to share with you, by means of an introduction, um, some images from my portfolio. Not too many, but just a couple of images to give a flavour of, uh, of what I'm about photographically and some of the things that we'll be dealing with uh, when we're sailing on a ship. A lot of what I want to talk about is, to, is, is around the art of seeing, the act of seeing. So it doesn't really matter whether you're using a, a, a humble smartphone camera or a fancy digital SLR or, or mirrorless camera. At the end of the day, it's about the act of looking and the storytelling um, that, that you're experiencing that is, is, is important and what I want to kind of get across. Um, of course, I'll be on hand to give technical advice as well, but it's the act of seeing which I, I think is, is most important. So I'm going to share a couple of pictures from my portfolio here, uh, mainly taken from my travels um, on, on, on ships and other parts of the world. And I thought I'd start with this picture here, um, taken in Golfito, uh, uh, a small little port on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. Um, and now you might be wondering why I'm showing you this picture. It's a kind of bland image and I'm the first to to first to acknowledge that. Uh, it is a very bland picture, but I put this in because I just want to make the point that by looking at a scene, even if it is seemingly quite um, banal and hum humdrum uh, like this scene, you can by changing your angle, maybe changing a lens or reimagining a picture in black and white, um, trans transform it into an image that looks a little bit like this. Um, now, I think this image has a, a little bit more sort of appeal uh, visually. It's a more satisfying um, image. Um, it sort of, uh, you know, speaks to that exotic notion of, of, of travel in far-flung corners of the world uh, in a way that is very different from this image, which you can see. But if you notice, the three palm trees on the left of this scene are the very same three palm trees uh, that you can see here. Uh, this little fellow uh, in, his, uh, in his fishing boat um, just sailing past um, helped a little bit as well. So I guess my point is really um, that even if it feels like there is no picture to be had in a location, then if you look and you learn to see uh, and acknowledge that the, the quite possibly will be a picture there uh, and you just need to work a little bit to tease it out, um, you'll start um, really making um, interesting and engaging pictures. Here's another picture and this was taken actually on a ship uh, up on the top deck. It's simply just the uh, air conditioning vent. Um, but I think by seeing it, isolating it, uh, isolating parts of it through, through framing um, and the little sliver of sky on the left hand side has made a, a relatively interesting abstract uh, image, the harsh light, the black and white treatment. Uh, and it is, at the end of the day, just a simple air conditioning vent on the top of a ship. And here's one more example of sort of seeking beauty in these banal little corners. This is in Bintulu in Southeast Asia uh, on another cruise. And uh, again, just looking around, nothing to, nothing, there was nothing jumping out photogenically, the screaming to be photographed. So we had to work a little bit harder to um, find some images. And actually, even though it's just a humble um, utilitarian and rundown um, sink on the side of the road, uh, in a way, I think it makes quite a beautiful image by stopping, being considered and mindful in the framing, paying attention to the verticals and being sensitive to the color and so forth. Uh, I've managed, I hope, to just make a slightly more engaging picture out of something that was really, really quite banal. The next set of pictures I want to show you, and I put them together into a little slideshow, um, but the next set of pictures I want to show are to do with the ocean, which is a project that you can really get your teeth stuck, stuck into on a ship. And actually what I do whenever I'm sailing is I'm, I'm forever fascinated by the, by the wonderful quality of the sea and the sky. I mean, it changes, uh, as I'm sure you know, on a, on a, 
on a minute by minute basis. It can be different from port to, to starboard, uh, minute to minute. Um, and I just love the changing tones and textures and colors and the quality of the light. And so what I've got into the habit of doing is photographing the sea with the horizon right in the middle uh, all the time, usually from one of the upper decks, like deck six or seven. Um, and I photograph with the horizon right in the middle. Now it seems quite boring. Uh, it is literally just a picture which is half sea and half sky. But when I bring them together, the differences are, are emphasized much more much more strongly uh, and it became the repetition almost becomes a, a form of a sort of artistic change and it's a it's a project that you can do really easily you can add two or three pictures to this uh, every day of your voyage I mean if you did it for the entire duration of a world voyage for example you'd have this mass amazing sort of collection I've put them together in a um, I've just put them together into a slideshow which I think emphasizes that difference it was super easy it's a free app. Um, I can show you how to use that when we're on board, but it's it's pretty intuitive, um, sort of drag and drop type thing. It really only took like five, ten minutes to put together. And a really nice way to share images on social media uh, or via email or, 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 or whatever. But a lovely way to sort of share the, share the experience. So I'm just going to let that play for a, 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 a 30 seconds or so. <laughs> Okay, I really like making these little videos actually, so I'm going to show you one more, and this time it's more in line with some storytelling, and this was taken, these images, this set of pictures, were taken in Kitava in Papua New Guinea. I was lucky to be there on a, on a ship, uh, but of course um, I was only there for a few hours, so I worked relatively quickly. I was really attracted to the, there was some um, beautiful um, Kind of very homemade, ruggedy um, sails made by made by local sailors, often using fabrics, I guess, which have been sort of washed up, uh, washed up, and so forth. Anyway, they looked lovely, and I was really attracted by them, and also the decorative designs on some of the wooden boats, and the sailors themselves had, you know, character rich faces, rich with 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 character. So you know, really out of just like twenty or so shots. Um, working maybe for like half an hour to an hour, I just was able to put together the images that are, are, are in the slideshow I'm just about to show you. Um, and I think, again, this was made with the same app, super easy and quick to put together, a lovely way to share, um, to share images and so forth. Um, and this is just a nice little story from an experience on Guitarva. <music> And finally, I'm just going to share uh, a bunch of images from uh, an, uh, a column that I write for a magazine here in the UK called Digital Camera. I think in the US and the rest of the world it's called Digital Camera World. Anyway, I write a column for it called The Art of Seeing. Uh, and uh, as you probably can guess, the essence of it is uh, much um, uh, very similar to, to, to what, what I've been talking about now, uh, The Art of Seeing. So I'm just going to, as a sort of by way of a finale, I'm just going to let the video play out and um, 
it'll give you a, a flavor of the kind of images that I like to make, the, like, the way that I like to see the world, and some of the uh, ways that we will discuss and explore photographically when, uh, when we're sailing together um, next year. So thank you for listening. <laughs>